In this finale tutorial we're going to look at part layout. Traditionally when you're working in finale you will be composing or arranging in your score. It is only at the completion of your composing or arranging that you will want to look at the layout of parts and ultimately extracting of the parts. In finale this is handled in the documents area. Clicking on documents we will see edit part and manage parts. We would like to look at manage parts. If you have created your score using a finale template or used the staff wizard to add staves into your score, you will find a list of all of your parts here. If you have manually added parts during the composition of your score, you may not find them listed here. In any case, it's good to generate the parts. This may be because you have changed names of parts during your composition process. By generating parts, it is going to go through your score and ask us if we would like to reset all of our parts to the names of the parts you have in your final score. We're going to click Yes. Here we have a full list of everything in our score. In the case where you want to extract more than one part together, this is where we can do that. For example, if I want to generate voice 1 and voice 2 into the one part, I select voice 1, go across here, select voice 2 and add to the part. I can then go to edit the part name, if I wanted to call this vocals, and edit the voicing. If I wished to have voice 2 only appear in the second layer, I could do that down here. There is another finale tutorial explaining this specific area more precisely. For the moment, we're going to click OK and move into part layout. At this time, we can go directly to edit the parts. If we go to document and edit part, we will look at trumpet. We'll put this in page layout so that we can all see it. The beauty of dynamic parts is that it means we can adapt many parts at the same time. In fact, we can adapt all parts at the same time. A good example of this is putting the amount of bars that you would like across all systems on all parts. Using our mass mover tool and selecting all bars, we can go to utilities and come to fit measures and choose across all parts or our current part how many bars we would like to put per system. In this case four looks really great. We're going to take that off, we're going to have four bars across every part. And here we choose what parts we would like to use this for. We could select all the parts, or we could select individual parts, a group of parts, for example the trumpet and the trombone because they play very similar parts together. So this will put four bars on every system for the trumpet and the trombone parts together. So if we look at both of those parts now, they will look very similar in the layout. Now we may choose to have, in this case we have an anacrusis, we would like to put this bar as well as this one in there. So we're going to actually put these five bars together on the first one. So again we'll go to Utilities, Fit Measures, and we're going to lock these selected measures into one system. And again, we'll do that for the selected parts, which is the trumpet and the trombone. And there they go. So the trombone and the trumpet will be the same here, with the same amount of bars in that. And again, we could go from here right to the very end of the score and put all those into four bars. And in doing so, We've actually saved ourselves a lot of work with those two parts. We could actually do this with all the individual parts. Another great time-saving device is laying out the distance between systems. This can be done with the Page Layout tool. Again, we can select all parts. In this case, I'm going to select the system distances so that that looks evenly spread across all parts in our piece. So we select this one and the very last system. And then down here we're going to look at distance between systems. 2.6, let's say we'll go to 2.3, just as an example. And again, we're going to look at how, what, which parts we would like to choose. If we check all of these without the score, we're not going to edit the score, all of the parts, we can check OK, and they will all move to 
that same distance, which makes it a lot easier to read. And if we look at other parts, we can see that they will all be the same as well. So in doing this, we can actually format many of our parts simultaneously and save ourselves an immense amount of time.